Hey YouTube, it's Mike, and this is a big day for me. Uh, one of my biggest mail days I've ever had, and I'm doing it from my office because I had the package delivered from the auction house to my office because I didn't want it sitting on my front porch or if signature is required, I'd have to go to some place to get it, and I knew I'd be here today, and I didn't want to wait till I got home because the lighting's better here too, and so you'll be able to see more. So my package today came in. Um, from memory lane. I've already opened it just so you guys don't have to see that part of it because it was very well wrapped and so I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got. Hall of Fame autographs is definitely my number one collection. If you were to say what would you never get rid of? It's my Hall of Fame autograph collection that I've been working on for a long time. I have 200 and you know almost 219 uh, different Hall of Famers not including the ones today and I have 1700 total Hall of Famer autographs. I got three today that I didn't have before, which is unusual for me to get that many at this point, uh, especially in one auction. And one of them again is the biggest I've ever got. But the first one I'll show you is this. It is a, um, I'll move out of the way, Roderick Wallace, also known as Bobby Wallace. It's a great uh, postcard that he wrote out PSA DNA Authentic. He says on here, thank you, Lauren. Hope you have all good luck with your autograph collection. He should have said, thank you, Mike. And good luck with all of your autograph collection. Little did he know this was dated 1955. So very hard signature, really beautiful signature. Look at that. Very eloquent. So that's a big one. I uh, didn't have Bobby Wallace before. <clears throat> the second one I've got here is uh, a guy named Kiki Kyler, and Kyler was a cub back in the day. Uh, yesterday in my mail day, I got a uh, back card of him. Kyler is very tough, very hard to get. I actually have one of him, but it came back as no good. So that was kind of disappointing because I got that from another auction house. And this one though looks way better and way more like the ones that I'm used to seeing in my Bible, which is uh, the Kirchin Baseball Hall of Fame autograph uh, book. And then there's this one. Uh, I have a lot of guys and there's nobody that I've wanted more recently <clears throat> in the last bit, little bit than this guy. And I finally found one that was very pretty and at a reasonable price and here it is babe Ruth so you notice it's kind of two-toned on the it's a it's about the size of a business card and it looks like it's either glued onto or taped onto an album page and so I'll move it up even further so that's what it looks like. It is bold and beautiful, and I cannot wait to send this in. Uh, I talked to PSA DNA. They're gonna allow me to cut that out <clears throat> so that it'll fit in a normal slab, which will be great, much easier to store, and uh, it'll, it'll end up being about this size when I'm done cutting out the other part of it. So that'll be awesome. Um, I have to actually send them, ironically, since there's a full letter letter that has a picture of this and everything with it, I have to send all the outside border part when I send it in so that they can kind of piece it together and make sure it's the same autograph. But I'm not worried about it. Uh, really excited. I'll send this in to get slabbed. I'll send the Kyler in to get slabbed. And I'll actually send the Wallace in to get slabbed again just to put a grade on it. And I'm going to have them grade the autograph on both of these other two. So I hope you can see why I've been so excited and kind of hyping up this video, this mail day, because it's not every day that you get a Babe Ruth autograph. In fact, this is the only day that I've ever gotten a Babe Ruth autograph. And don't know that I'll get another one ever, but this one's in kind of the PC to stay. And I hope everybody uh, enjoys it. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. And thanks for watching. It's been a babe day. I hope everybody has a good day for the rest of it. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep collecting.